let's look at how to use Reason 7 with Pro Tools 11. So the first thing you need to know is I'm on a Windows system and we have already installed Reason 7. After you get Reason 7 installed, make sure you open it, authorize it, and make sure it's working fine in standalone. Now we've already done this. I actually have videos of this if you would care to check those out. One more thing is you want to make sure you have the 64-bit version of Reason 7 installed because Pro Tools 11 is now full 64-bit. So before in Pro Tools 10 and lower, we needed the 32-bit version of Reason 7 installed. Now with Pro Tools 11 and moving forward, we'll need the 64-bit version. So after you've opened Reason 7 and standalone, authorized it and set it up and made sure that it's working, then we can go ahead and launch Pro Tools 11. So here we have Pro Tools 11, it's already launched, and we created a, an instrument track. Now you can use different kind of tracks, maybe you want to use an aux and uh, some MIDI channels, but for this I'm going to use an instrument track. So we'll go up here to our inserts and go to multi-channel plugin, we'll come down to instrument, and there we see reason. If you have category and manufacturer checked in your setup and preferences, then you can come down to where it says avid and you'll see reason in there as well as in the instrument section. So we'll go ahead and open Reason. Up comes Rewire and Reason 7 is now launching. So now we have Reason 7 open in Pro Tools 11 running via Rewire, but we still have some setup that we have to do. So let me go here and I'll create an instrument and let's just choose Thor, which is a great synthesizer by the way. And I'll press some keys on my MIDI controller and I'm not getting any sound. So then we'll arm the track, still not getting a sound. So what we need to do is come up here to where it says instrument and I'll make sure I set my MIDI device to trigger the correct channel in Thor. Okay, so now we're getting signal in Thor, but no sound in Pro Tools. That's because we need to come here to rewire and make sure we set the correct output for reason so we'll get sound in Pro Tools. So what I want is mix left and right. And there we go, now we have sound coming from reason. It's being triggered from Pro Tools, going into reason, triggering Thor, coming back out into Pro Tools, we can see that there. So that's the basics of how you would set up Reason 7 with Pro Tools 11. So now let's just look at a couple ways that we can use Reason 7 and Pro Tools 11 together. So I've got my instrument track armed, I'm going to start recording here in Reason 7. I'll just press a few notes here on my MIDI keyboard, record that into Reason 7. And now when I play back, we're still getting that sound in Pro Tools. So that was recorded in Reason 7. We could also record our MIDI notes into Pro Tools and have that trigger Reason 7. So we'll do that now. So we have our instrument track armed and now we'll start recording in Pro Tools. So let's hit a couple notes. And there we go, there's our MIDI notes now in Pro Tools. And we play back and of course, we get sound coming from Reason and back into Pro Tools. Now Reason 7 is more than capable of being able to record entire songs using just Reason and standalone. You don't need another DAW to use Reason. Reason is a very advanced piece of software and very easy to use just in standalone. But maybe you have some plugins that you want to use Reason with and those may only be available in your digital audio workstation such as Pro Tools here. You may want to use Reason 7 in conjunction with your DAW and you can do just that using Rewire. Reason 7 is one of the most creative and inspirational audio creation workstations that I've ever used. I absolutely love it. And being able to use it in conjunction with my favorite doll, Pro Tools, is just icing on the cake. So if you're not familiar with Reason 7, be sure to check it out. You can even download a free demo. And to learn more about Pro Tools 11, you can always go to avid.com. So that's the basics on how you would use Reason 7 with Pro Tools 11.